Hey, we're so, back. Oh, I got now, my coffee because now we've got to talk about a lot yeah, of stuff. This is, this is heavy stuff. So This is the year that was. I, I made you coffee. You see, I'm not that much of an invalid. It's terrible. Even after what I've gone through. Mm. Um, yeah, the year that was. 2022. The year well, that was. Ended on a bang. Well, for you. Yeah, ended on a big bang. But, uh, but um, and an even bigger bounce back. Thank God. Yeah. And uh, well, look, hang on, let's start. You you basically came in on Motor Matters when in 2022? Because you, you somehow just uh, oh, I've been here about a week, forced your way into this whole oh, scene, yeah, you know? yeah. about a week. Um, you know, so it's just sort of as we go, you know. So, um, mm. managed to do a few cars, we've done some, done a lot of cars, done, done some, done, done some, done some launches, yeah, done a few videos. We've done three or four videos. I think yeah, we three or four. Mm-hmm. I, w- I was going to say a hundred. Do you know, I, I counted up. I've done something like, a, I'll give you a proper figure. Don't worry. We'll, we will, oh, that will be one further video we do beginning of next year. Mm-hmm. We'll just be the stats on the YouTube channel. How, we, how, we okay, how we've done. Because let me tell you, it's grown. But done well over a hundred videos welcome. already this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I've just let you pop into the videos now when I <laughs> was. They come quite to see me. They come to see all of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. You, and to give mm. you a hard time because yeah. I mean, someone has to. Yeah, geez. Yeah. So what? Mm. Let's, let's let's go through it. So we've done we've done some 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 yeah. cars, and there've been some ones that sort of stand out. No, there've been some major standouts. There's been some standouts, and I have to say the standouts mm. for me have come from left of field. You know, sort of. Well, we both feel that way most yeah, of the time. No, it's, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit strange, but yeah. I, mm. I like the mocker. I really like the mocker. Well, I, now funny because you say that. Just published the other day. I got the mocker down in Cape Town for a few days yes. again, just as a and standard mocker. Except what they did was I don't know if this was a special one or what it was. Those little red accents all on the outside of the car. Oh, okay. I mean, as much as the mocker looked so good as it is, well, this, just this popped, kind of popped a popped little a, bit, you know. A bit. Yeah. So mocker, great one. Like I mean, the, like the mocker. Mm-hmm. The car, I have to say, or yeah. car vehicle, I mm-hmm. have to say, I changed my mind on the most often mm-hmm. and went from hating it to adoring it was, mm-hmm. of course, the Gladiator. Oh, come on. You, the the, the you Maki. Know, you didn't the want to pickup. believe me I when I spoke to you about no, it at on first. Launch, on launch, I looked at it, I said, this wait, thing's going to be let, ugly. Let, wait, wait, wait. Let's get this in even better it's context. Not, I was on the launch the day before you. Yes. Okay. I came back. I was raving. You were skeptical. You went on the launch the next Never day. I've been skeptical you about anything in my hated. life. No, wait. <laughs> on, on the launch day you were on, the day yes. after me, you came back and I said you I hated it. panned the thing. I hated, you hated, it. hated it. I hated it. I thought and you, it was you, rubbish. Yeah. 1.3 million rand. I thought, who in their right mind is ever going to buy this? It's and nonsense personified. So many people proved you wrong. Hey, everyone, hey, at the hey, launch, hey. everyone at the launch mm. was like, no, you're wrong. They're going to yeah. sell everyone they can get their hands on. Which they've done. They've sold everyone they can get their hands on. I had it for a week and it changed me completely. And I've never had a car or vehicle do that to me. Well, it was, see, it was, you just, it was, it you was, just didn't quite uh, get it to start. No, I, I still don't get it. But as a toy, no, no. It's, it's such a nice You remember when nice we did thing. the last video on it? It's such a nice The thing. naked video, as I called it. Yeah, right? yeah. Where we stripped it stripped down. Stripped it. Okay. Because you can. Because you can. Dot com. Yeah, right. Exactly. I, my final, final comment on that vehicle. I want one, no doubt, but it should live in the garage of my holiday house at the coast, permanently naked. <laughs> yeah, that's, nothing on it. That's yeah. the ultimate. And by naked, I'm saying, in mm. case you haven't watched, uh, we took roof the, off, doors the, off, windscreen down, the whole, the whole yeah. tutti, and you treat it as a glorified beach buggy, but it makes, I mean, there's no comparison, but it's the same kind of thing. I would miss it too much if it just stayed in my holiday house. I would have to have no. I would just be at my holiday house more. Often. Well, there you go. Yeah, you see, you that's it, the it, point. It, it, they're, they're, yeah, like we could ever have holiday houses at the has, coast. It has an uh, attraction. It has mm. an attraction from that point of view. Yeah, uh, and and mm. look, dailing the thing, probably not. Mm. No, it was such a likable mm. car. I could. I could <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy stuff. I think. I think for my next career, I'm going to yeah. have to go and work for Stellantis and mm. and, and you know just. So I can get in the car and drive it. Nah, just, just do you really out, think out, they'd out, ever out, want goes. you? No, no, I didn't say that. Of course they'd want no. me. They'd love me. They'd love me. <laughs> so this is not a job application, Stones. Not. No, no. It's no, not. I'm, yes. No. Chuck in a few alphas. And, mm, mm, Listen, mm, can you mm, behave yourself just mm, for one mm, minute? Mm, mm, Please. Alpha. Just kind of behave so, yourself. So other, other, other highlights? Other um, highlights. So okay. whilst we're on the Jeep thing, yeah, I mean, okay. the Grand Cherokee. Grand Cherokee. Love it. Whoa. 
Loved it. it. it now, look, I liked the Grand Cherokee before, but this one was such a big step up. Nice one. From the previous nice papa. generation, it was up like that. And it's gone all Europeanified, which, which, mm. which, which the Yanks have done really, really yeah, well. Yeah, look, I agree, but the thing is, whereas the Grand Cherokee before was a total left field choice, mm -hmm. it now competes with the best Absolutely. of the best of anything else in that kind of category. I totally agree. And you've actually, anybody who's got one and a half million for a large seven-seat family it, SUV. It is large. It's super large. It yeah. is large. Yeah. But if, if that's the market you're in, yeah. you are crazy Not to consider if you it. don't put that on your short list. Yeah, no, absolutely. No doubt. Absolutely. I right. mean, the only thing, let's just say, the only thing that everybody has been saying this is that if there was a diesel option, I think it would actually then, it wouldn't even make short lists anymore. It's all policy. It would just be, it's boom, all, it would be the choice. Let's not talk about government. Let's get yeah. from the sublime to the ridiculous. Okay, right. The ridiculous, yeah. right. So the M240i. Yeah. For mm. me, hands down. Total winner. Mm. I would love just to bench it mm. against the, 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 the M. Yeah, yeah. But as a standard 240, 280 kilowatts, plenty. Oh, come on. I mean, what do you need in that car? Plenty, plenty, so, plenty. A two-door coupe. And, 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 and I'd rather the diesel. Yeah, the 220 the diesel, yeah. And I have to say, would I take the petrol over the diesel? Yes, I actually would take the petrol over the diesel. I would. I Hang would. on. But that diesel is Hang good. On. That that's, diesel is good. That's head over heart stuff again. No, it's just... Power. Yeah, look, power. It's, it's the power crazy, but the Speed. real world practicality. Speed. No, but that diesel also has is pretty potent. Yeah, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm not saying it isn't. out of the two liter if, diesel. If I hadn't been exposed to the yeah. potency of the petrol, <laughs> you know, I have been you perfectly said, happy I'll with take my that one. miserable, <laughs> empty, meaningless life driving the diesel. Yeah, exactly. But no, yeah. That's why I'm saying I, 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 next next year I'm going to make a point of seeing mm. if I can get hold of the M. Just for comparative purposes. You know what would really be an amazing one? And I, I'm not understanding or sure whether it's worldwide or just South Africa. Yeah. BMW have dropped the three litre diesel. It's a pity because that was a great motor. Do you, just imagine. It was a great motor. I think we touched on it actually. In two the video. series yeah. with yeah. a three litre diesel, diesel with yeah. 185 kilowatts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you but wouldn't miss the the, the 240. I'm telling for the, you. For, for, for BMW, and I must mm. say, those the, mm. we didn't drive. I didn't drive a lot of Beamers mm. this, this this particular uh, year round. But I thought that the the the, mm. the M or the the two series yeah. mm. is the one to have. Oh yeah, look, it's, if I it think suits it's, you though. Well, but you know, yeah, the two, because yeah. look, hang on, I'm going to say what something. Are, what are we, what, are, I, we, what I, are we going to take other than that? Yeah, but I've got to point something out here. You do get the two Grand Coupe. Yes. Yeah, the two-door, four-door coupe. I mean, the, the total confusion, but it gives you the practicality of a four-door and whatever. But a personal opinion here. Have you looked at the rear end of the two Grand Coupe on the road? I can't say that it leaps to memory all that there instantaneously is just, in, my, in my archives. I've, I've, I've and I have to say, the reason, the reason for it is probably because it's hideous. I've discussed it with a few other people as well who all... It's a nice car, my brain, and it my makes brain, the two series a my lot brain more just practical. Automatically blocks out ugly. Yeah. It makes the two series more practical, mm. as in not a two-door coupe. Mm. Mm. You've got the four-door, blah blah blah. Okay, but, but then buy a four-door, buy a three series. There is just something disjointed about that How rear end. No, just that rear end. It's not. A, it's not BMW. I don't know what they've done, and that would put me off that car. In twenty years' time, that's going to be the one everyone wants to collect. That's going like to be the one everyone wants to collect, like the MQP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, fully agree. Yeah, no, yeah, there's just something about it that it's doesn't not quite, BM, yeah. It's not BMW, yeah. therefore no. it's just going to become yeah. instantly collectible. Okay, um, right. other, car, other mm. cars stood mm. out. The, yeah. the, the, the one I did have a bit of a drive mm. in, uh, Cayman Ford GTS. Yeah, okay, I didn't get to drive that. Yeah. Look, you know, the thing is, Porsche just keep... Adding and adding and bringing more and bringing more when it comes to any of their cars. I mean, so model, model, model expansion. Yeah, We've yeah. got that. I mm. mean, I think Mercedes, the Band mm. Brigade, BMW, Audi, mm. Mercedes. Mm. Model expansion is just their DNA. They and now create they're millions all, of these things. They're all going with all the different electrics versions. Now. Yeah, but now they've all in this year oh. suddenly gone boom electric. Yeah, with a few others coming. Yeah, 
but the, they've all concentrated on electrics. So you've now got full ranges of electrics from all three. I haven't, unfortunately, really been exposed no, enough. No, I, think, I think that's coming. 2023 no, no, no. is going to be... 2023, believe me, we're going to suddenly hit a lot of them. Oh, I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you. I am on the jury for Car of the Year 2023. Semi-finalists are being voted for as we speak, which means finalists will come in one... Now, please, manufacturers, my, my just votes, remember... What, my votes, just please. remember that your electrics that make the finals, I've got to drive these things. I've got to drive all of them. And there are quite a few, obviously, because it's all new cars that were launched for 2022. When your doctor says you can. <laughs> Did you see that, folks? <laughs> so, electric is coming in yeah, a big way yeah. in 2020. Massive, massive. So, this, these are our predictions. Yeah. Plug-in electric hybrid is coming in in a big way in 2020. Which I say is the better option. Well... I agree with you. What? Yes. Yes. It, it, it's, it's just a sensible yeah. option. And, mm. and, you know, it's a stopgap. For uh, our market, I for think, our circumstances, yes, etc. And, and, and I think they're going to sell, sell, sell in, in numbers. Um, and then I think we're going to start to see consolidation in, in, the, in the ice side of things. We're just going to see smaller mm. engines, well, more I mean, fuel efficiency. Yeah, and if you want the power performance, the how many years? yeah. If you I want mean, the power performance, you're going into yeah, into, into smaller into electric. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Interesting yeah. fact done. Thank done. you very much. It's continuation of the trend. Yeah. So that's going to be definitely 2023's big stuff. And then we have got some big fights coming up in 2023. Mm. Mm. Ranger versus Hilux. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The age-old enemy. <laughs> yeah. No. Look. Unfortunately, I haven't. Uh, that's going to be fun. New, new Rangers, etc., should be arriving on our test driveway early it's next year. Going to be fun, no doubt. What, what I love about this, and I've got to tell you, and I'm going to compare it to the C-Class 3 Series. Mm. Do you remember one time a few years ago, their new launches were sort of simultaneous? So they you would could go on one up, but not the other. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is they would bring out the new generation at yes. re relatively close to each other. Yes. Now suddenly their cycles are completely out. Out of sync. So for example... The new C class. Yes. The three series is actually pretty old, mm. relative. And I, yes. I said that the C class, and I'll, I'll say now you, what you I like actually commented, you know. it didn't just leapfrog the, the three, three series. series. It actually stuck its face in the mud on its way over. Mm. Wait for the next three series. I was I'm just not, about to say, no, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. But now instead of them coming within a few months of each other, there's probably another two years or something. Yes. So there's the funny thing. Now, the same has just happened with Ranger versus Hilux. Yeah. Hilux is not old, but it's been around. Did, you know, yes, you, they've done the upgrade, the GR Sport and whatever. The best way the best mm. way Ranger was summed up to me was mm. actually by Neil, mm. who's the MD. Yeah. And he said, the Ranger now is digital as opposed to what it was when it was analog. Mm. And, and he's right. It's, 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 it's that clear a switch when you're sitting inside the cabin mm. that now you're into the age of the digital tech and the age of the analog tech is now mm. a yeah. thing of the past. So what I'm saying is now, what are, how are Can't Toyota going to... wait for the to, electric ones. Yeah. How are Toyota going to react and respond to this new range? The way Toyota always has. Mm. They will come out with something as They're good if not with, better. No, no, and I agree. It's, just, it's but going it's to the time lag. It's going I'm to saying be, it's yeah, purely exactly. the time lag. Exactly. If you no, I, I you know me numbers and, and spare a thought for two. Mm. I mean, let's just let's yeah. let, let's just mm. be honest now. Mm. The fact that their factory mm. is up and running, uh, come right? On, come so we've got to touch sorry, on this again. That's going to be the big news of 2020. We've got to touch on this again. The biggest news. This of the deserves life. a Netflix documentary. I still four months. I still have not seen any factory suffer that level of damage and be operational again four forget months. about four months be operational again not written off completely so if anyone out there knows of a similar sort of scale mm. disaster anywhere in the world that's happened mm. that this has actually been recovered do let me know mm. and i'll guarantee you there's not one that can do it in four no, months no it's There's look just, it, this was not just could not have something. been done this was a miracle it was it was just it was miraculous exactly that uh, and i've got to say and exactly. you're right credit a just million times over kudos to toyota yeah unbelievable for what they pulled yeah. off there but 
it also and I was lucky enough to be down at the factory when for that for reopening, the opening, yeah, yeah. yeah, media reopening, yeah, where they said if ever they needed proof that they are part of the Toyota worldwide family, they have it. That was the proof. They have it. Do you know? Do you know? I've got to just throw this one. You know, Andrew aged about twenty years over that thing. Uh, tell me, yeah, <laughs> only twenty. Uh, but do you know that when it happened, and they got hold of Akira Toyota, yeah, who got involved from minute one, mm. within twenty four hours, on a plane to South Africa, was the head of Toyota Worldwide Disaster Management. Disaster. Ma I, I mean, I'm, I, I, you know, yeah. give his start, whatever it is. Yeah. But th they've got a guy for. Disasters. Disasters or Japan's whatever you want to call a, it. Japan's had one or two national yeah, disasters correct. at the time. Yeah, so. And that guy was on a plane to South Africa within 24 hours. And then he walked around for two days going, oh my God, oh my God, oh Something my God. Like that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, so <laughs> yeah. that was the way... Do, it, I mean, the other thing that I thought was incredible was... Once, obviously, all the assessment had been done, what they wanted to do, how they wanted to do. Do you know that? Now, this was at top, top level, um, international top level. Basically, if South Africa needed a part or a machine or a something. Then it was available somewhere else. At, no, better than this. And it had been on order from any other plant in the world, mm. that part or that machine. That w they were told, sorry, pal, you've just lost it. It's going to South, South Africa. Africa. Yeah, yeah. And that's no, how it worked. And, and, and the logistics around it, I mean, there was something like, the numbers are just staggering, 96,000 different parts. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that's yeah. just different parts. Mm. Uh, you've got multiple copies of these parts in different plants of, parts you know, of, your, even more parts of your plant. 96,000, I think it was 96, whatever. It was, it was, yeah. But hang on. When I was at the factory, they had 60% 60 to 65 percent of those 96,000 parts had arrived and been installed. Hang on. The rest they had to refurbish. But with just under 40 percent still outstanding, the factory was running at 80 percent capacity. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you had. You had also, it doesn't make sense, but you had, it's incredible. You had maintenance teams that didn't exist. Suddenly, everybody in, 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 at the factory was now a maintenance person, cleaning hmm. stuff with flipping. Toothbrushes. I literally saw and, that, by and, the way. And, and exactly that. No, do you know what they were Being using? Tested they were using hair dryers yes. and toothbrushes. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Because bear in mind, this wasn't mm. just a flood. It was mud. It was, well, so sludge, water, sludge water, water, water get, gets mm. in, drowns mm. everything, take it out, dry it out, mm. you're, you're, you're okay. Yeah. Mud gets in there, grinds everything to a pulp. Then you take it out and dry it out and you're left with sand inside your component. And sand, believe it or not, conducts electricity quite well. And if you have mm. delicate electronics or short-circuiting mm. with sand, the first time you turn it on, guess what happens? Bang! Off it goes. So the, 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 the testimony you saw it is the fact that they actually managed to get that factory up and running at all. That's right? it. It's, 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 it's the most phenomenal so story. We could cover it for hours Hats off to hours. Toyota on well that done. one. Well done, guys. That's got to be the biggest story it's of 2020. Without doubt. Then without there doubt. are a few so others. Let's, let's just go on, on that tack for the moment. There's got to be, we mentioned the new Ranger. Yes. But the $1 billion investment from Ford, Ford International. Into, yep. into uh, no, into, uh, it was both Special, special economic. and yep, yep. Okay. So let's just mention that one, because that's massive. It's, yeah. Uh, then there's the other billion one. Billion dollars. Billion dollars, yeah. Is bike. Starting up the new factory. Starting up the new factory. I know it's taken longer than most people <laughs> said, expected. Yeah. But things are happening as in the launch of the Beijing yep. X55 the other yep. day. Yep. Uh, and as was said to me, if you go to the plant now in Quebec, okay? Mm -hmm. Love that one. I mean, especially with my mouth as it is now. <laughs> uh, but you go down there now, apparently the final touches are being put to the paint shop. Just call it old PE. Yeah. yeah. That, well, the paint shop is the final, final, final well, thing. And that's well, what was said to me. Last, is that the last year. If somebody says I'm putting up an assembly plant, it's one thing. Yeah. When they put in the paint shop, you know they're done. You know, a the money has been spent. Yeah. And b it's done. Yeah. And apparently that's what's pretty much done. Yeah. I hope I have asked nicely and planned. I think I'll be going to the factory early in the year. Oh really? Yeah. I have. 
Well, I'm going on holiday Disgusting. down to that neck of the woods. I'm just going to stop in there, knock on well, the door and say, show me around. I don't know if anything will be happening now, but that's beside the point. But that's one it's of the me. big stories. I'm an investigative journalist. The other Scale big of story. Let's just, let's just touch on another big thing of 2022. In through the roof. The Chinese onslaught. I was about to say. Now, we yeah. need to talk about about yeah. about the the nons that have mm. suddenly become part and parcel of the fabric. Uh, I mean, Terry from nowhere. Um, I mean, they launched no in November last year. And now look at them. And now they're selling 1,500, 1,700 cars and, a month. And, well, and all apparently in Joburg, because mm. I see thousands of them. <laughs> no, all over in, the bloody lots place. Lots in Cape Town as well, I must lots tell you, when I was there. All over the bloody place. No, so. they're selling. Haval? Also, hmm. lots, look, lots Havel, and lots. you've got to give... I'm going to give Haval some credit here. Do you know I've never driven a Haval? Uh, okay. uh, a Haval? Yeah. And Haval? Uh, I've got to give Haval credit. Never Do you know why I say that? Yeah. They paved the road for Cherry, for example. Well, Cherry were here before. Yeah, no, 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 listen, no, don't even mention, okay? Please, that was, Long that time was ago. what was, yeah. No, but what I'm saying is, Haval were the ones that broke the stigma of Chinese, Chinese cars. cars. They've been here for, what, about five years now? Mm -hmm. They've proven, mm -hmm. they've done the job. They're selling just... In fact, I think they were just under 2,000 units last month. So, I mean, they're doing... Uh, there's this interesting little battle between Aval and say, Cherry, they quite They must honestly. be bloody cross it. They did all the work and Cherry came along and yeah. just said, thank you, guys. Well, bang. To a large extent, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening in my book, okay? And and, and we've got bike now, as you now said. we've got they've bike, got bike coming, in, coming so, along. So You've got... Uh, no, they're, they're actually not... Well, they're semi-Chinese. Is Proton coming back. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the term semi-Chinese because... They are Malaysian brand, but they're now Chinese owned by Geely, right? Okay. Who own Volvo. So just got, to put a context there. They've got so some clout behind them now. They've got some clout behind them mm -hmm. now. So I, I hope they're going to do a lot better than the last attempt here as well. Like, But as I said, those were the early forays. Let's forget yeah. those. These are the genuine ones. The difference, the difference, particularly with Cherry, was last time they came in as a distributorship. Yeah. This time they're coming in as a full OEM. Yeah. Chalk and cheese. Yeah. It says all of it to me. Yeah. So there we well, go. The rate at which they've grown the number of branches and service centers, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Correct, I mean, yeah. I think they understand now what they need mm. to do to crack the South African market because the South African market is not an easy yeah. one. Now, have, talk about cracking the one. market, we've got to mention one other brand. And I'm not only... I've got... But they're just certain standouts. It's got to be uh -huh. Suzuki. <laughs> I was about to it say. has just got to be, okay? Yeah, we talk about Suzuki a lot, actually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but... Okay. Hey, beginning of 2022, early 2022, they cracked their sales record of just over 2,000 cars in a month. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I think 2-2 two, two or something like that. It was Chris very March. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I know. There was a big rah, -rah <laughs> new record. <laughs> and they just haven't stopped. Ten months later, they, they cracked 4,000. Yeah, they doubled. Yeah. That's I crazy. mean, in one year. No, we all know their products. We all... Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, we... we very recent couple of videos you'll see on them. So yeah. I don't have to say much more than that. They have proven what they've done is they've just got their recipe right. So speaking of new models mm -hmm. coming, we've got the new Grand, Grand, Vitara. Grand, Vitara. Grand Vitara. Yeah, making yeah, its, correct. Making its appearance. Going to make an appearance. And that's a hybrid as well. Eh? That's also a hybrid. So, yeah. yeah, yeah uh, top of the so their first Suzuki. hybrid. Look, but you know what? Hmm? It's going to be nice. It's going to be good. Uh, we saw it at uh, the motor show, okay? Yeah. But nobody's driven it yet or whatever. But you know what? That's not their market. We'll see. There are still quite a few no, Vitaras floating around on the road yeah, when, you, but when, you, when yeah. you look at them. Yeah, but not Grand Vitaras. No, no. Okay? But what's interesting is they're calling it Grand Vitara. But it's not the Grand Vitara the big, of big the one. previous yeah. generation. Yeah. It's slightly bigger than the current Vitara. Mm. But... Look, what I'm saying is it'll do well in its segment. Let's see where, but let's it's see where not, it goes. But Suzuki, let's be honest, is where they're killing the market is Espresso, Solerio, Swift, and uh, Beleno. Brezza. Beleno. Beleno. I mean, New Beleno, Beleno, come on. They were selling 50 Belenos a month, right? Yeah. They bring out the new one and they're doing 500 a month. <laughs> How's that? Just bang. How's that? <laughs> Just bang. So, I mean, yeah, and, 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 and never forget Germany, of course. And speaking speaking of mm. cars, that, I mean, so mm. for instance, the, mm. the new Mahindra XUV 700, right? right? Oh, so yeah. They were aiming at 700. They've sold 1,100 just off launch. 
We haven't even seen the car yet. I mean, we've yeah. driven it. No, but, we've driven but it, yeah. We haven't seen it on well, the road. Apparently it's sold by they, a thousand, a thousand of them. It's, uh, it's, it's, the first delivery took place within the last couple of days. So first, first, uh, first. I've been looking on the road to private, see my first no, one. Now no, but waiting to see it was it. in Durban. Okay. I saw it on social media yesterday. So okay. within the last two, three days. So it's first actual delivery took place. It's happening. But I mean, we've both driven it. I have to say, I love this one. When I was at, the, we were at different events for the launch, yes. which was quite interesting. And when trying to get a price out of Rajesh Gupta, he wouldn't give the price because it wasn't the official announcement. Right, yeah. You were, funny yeah. enough, you yeah. were a few at days the, later at the official one. Yes. And he, he said to me, he, we were having a long chat, and he said, what do you think price? And I gave him a couple of numbers. And then he said to me, what's your market disruptor price? Mm. And I just, that term has stuck in my yes. head. What's your market disruptor price? So the, the market and, no, has but been, you know what? I dropped my figures, yeah. yet they came in even lower than that. Right, yeah. And you wonder why they got 1,100 orders in two weeks. It's, it's, it's a direct response to the Chinese. But I've got to tell you something else about that vehicle. Has shattered every record in India. Oh, really? For pre-orders and sales of launch of a new model. Completely and Indian in fact, designed, completely in new. Fact, I've got it just completely toyed up, completely. Yeah, but wait. Nothing not to like about it. Do you know the Indian market are actually very upset with South Africa right now? Because we got it first. Be no, they got it first. <laughs> but there's an 18 month waiting list in India. They're saying, how can you be sending to South Africa? We want those cars. Sorry, so, man. yeah, but look, Mahindra have, have publicly said South Africa is their second home. You know that. Okay. So. There's, there's that assembly plant down in uh, KZN. Yeah. Where apparently they're churning out pickups at quite a speed. Good. Uh, I haven't heard numbers yet, but I, I, about four years ago, I actually was at the opening of the plant. We need more. We need more of manufacturing. this. We need much more. I but mean, this is just an assembly plant. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not a it's not a manufacturing, manufacturing plant. But it's I don't care. It's still it's a big thing. It's jobs. It's a big thing. So I'd love to see a lot more of that. I'd like to see them assembling more models here. Mm. But I mean, then they've got to expand. It. But why not? I mean, if they're selling... Look, even Mahindra, who are such a little... Who have been such a little bit player along the way, have consistently in this year gone over a thousand units a month. Now, I can tell you, two, three years ago, they were probably doing, what, 400? Yeah. So they have also mushroomed these... These things are, you know, so the, the market then, so mm. the total market hasn't grown by the expansion of this. So we've, no. got, we've got winners, we've got losers. So where are the, where we, who are the losers in this little equation? Well, we uh, don't really know. It's kind of... They're going to bounce couple, back a now. And, well, there's one I'm going to name. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name. But the bounce back will be any minute because we already discussed that. Oh. Ford. Because Ranger was tailing off, tailing off. Yeah. It, well, it's, of course, it's the longest, Ford, one of the longest Ford, leading. Ford have ditched everything. You've got, you've yeah. got, you've got mm. a Mustang and a mm. Range and an Everest and a and a, and a, and a Echo and Sport. A, a, although that's that's on its way out. And then, no, no. And then, Hang the, on. And, then no. The, and then the they are denying Echo Sports on its way out, and they're still selling four five hundred a month. <laughs> okay. So I, I, there's nothing wrong with an Echo Sport. They, don't they, get me wrong. They re, but they resourced it from Europe now, as opposed to it used to come from Indonesia, right? <laughs> No, sorry, not Indonesia. Just come from India. If there's demand they for it, they're them selling in India. them. They're still building them in Europe. Bring them in. And they're selling enough of them, so nobody quite knows. There's rumors, and you know, sometimes rumors can be nasty okay. so we've about got that. So, but basically, they've got, and, there's and no more focus. And, the, and there's panel no more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they've, they've dropped a lot of that. There's no focus ST. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know. Is Cougar still around or not? No. 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 Okay. So, yeah, they've kind of got Echo Sport question mark, Mustang, mm -hmm. Everest Ranger, mm -hmm. and the and the panel van. Yeah, but the, yeah, but that's again and now a whole other. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is that the the lead time and the public knowledge of Ranger was so long mm -hmm. that apparently mm -hmm. they were still selling everyone they could build up to the end of the previous generation Ranger, but exported. Apparently yeah. the export orders were massive, rolling out right to the last minute. But the numbers in South Africa were starting to dwindle off. Because, they were, I mean, the new, new one, new ones. Being yeah, announced, from yeah. when they launched this generation. Yes. Competing with Hilux. Yes. And even beating Hilux occasion, on occasions, mm. it was like they were half Hilux. Mm. 
this bounce back is going to happen and that's going to obviously make a heck of a difference to the overall figure per month. Because it's going to, I mean, they're going to suddenly be moving like 1,500 more yeah. units a month at least. I yeah. can see it. Yeah. So that's where it's going. No, the new but one is stunning. Currently, they've lost. There's no doubt. Okay, so that's 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 mm. forward. Yeah. No, the interesting. Other, and the I other mean, thing and Toyota would have taken a knock with they four took months. A look, lack, lack they took a total production. I mean, they lost an, a ridiculous it's, it's, number of vehicles. It's crazy. Because uh, remember over that, the year. that 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 plant exports a lot of their vehicles. Yeah, but you know, forget the export. But, even yeah, the local. Just the local ones. Yeah. I mean, they lost. Not just crazy. The, on local sales. They lost something like thirty thousand units yeah. in the yeah. year, okay? And and um, um, if I'm, my numbers are not exact, believe me, it's some. No, I mean in context of selling half a million vehicles for the year, thirty thousand is a big whack. No, look, I mean Toyota, yeah. Toyota and Ford, mm. you know, they're the four hundred pound gorillas in the ring here, you know, yeah. in terms of local, mm. local, local manufacture for sales. So uh, the rest, the rest mm. of them are, 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 are smaller than that, but you know, so for for them to be out of production for four months is mm. just the other. Other a company that hurt. people keep saying, oh, where are they, where are they, where are they. But interesting is the Stellantis Group, who are putting out some great product. Let's be oh, honest, no, we've discussed look, I mean, some of the product. No but now, about it. what they've done, look, they're coming off a very small base. Yes, they are. Across their brands. Across they are. But they've also shown some extremely good growth. Well, I think But as I say, small base, it's not your percentages don't. It's not reflected in mm. the quality of what they're bringing out. No. And so no. the quality of what they're bringing out is stunning. Yeah. It is stunning. Mm. It should be selling a hell of a lot more. And I think it's just a case of there's a bit of a lag no. whilst the market no, catches I'll tell up, you what maybe. It is. I'll tell you what it is. Or is it just supply? It's supply. Yeah. Now, let's just touch on the microchip. So everybody's had supply Every issues. Every 95% have had supply issues, okay? And I suppose if you're Stellantis and you've got seven different brands within your Number group, one. That but also, also, for some reason... Adds to the complexity. For some reason, and I, I don't go into this part of the logistics, is the European manufacturers have been hit harder than a lot of the others. Mm. Okay. Like the Korean manufacturers had their own source of, of uh, microchips, apparently. Mm. Mm. And they, they kind of secured. Yeah. And the Chinese seem to have had no problem. Yeah. European manufacturer across the board had have had problems. Got caught with their pants down. Yeah. So Stellantis in South Africa have ma had massive supply issues mm. across every brand. I mean, well, apparently their stock holding of vehicles, you know, you know, like at manufacturer level, yes. is uh, a month or so back was practically zero. Mm. In other words, what they get, they sell. That's and Hyundai said the same thing to me, by the way, at enough, a recent launch. Funny enough, so did Toyota. Yeah. They were, they were whatever we got, of minus 4,000 or yeah. something. Whatever we got, we're selling. Just gone. Whatever arrives is sold. Sold. So I think that's a big part of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So I think... In 2023, we should hopefully see some stabilization. Well, they they in, say a lot of it's already improved. Getting, getting some... Getting and some heading sort of into a better sense. Yeah, yeah into a better the logistics supply chain is just a yeah. joke. It's just Look, I'll tell you now. You want my prediction? I think uh, we'll end on, come to an end here. Mm -hmm. Whatever numbers we end 2022 on, I see, I'm really going to be optimistic, 15% growth 2023. Sure. I was going to say 10, I'm actually jumping it to 15. Interesting. Um, yeah. Well, with the global macroeconomic forecasts and philosophies, and mm. stab in the dark and throw dartboard at the <laughs> throw dart mm. at the dartboard type of philosophy, which is probably as accurate as any wonk you're going to hear talking heads on the TV on Bloomberg and Fox News. Did I say Fox mm. News? Not Fox News, the other yeah, one. Yeah. CNN. The same um, difference. Etc. Yeah. Etc. Um, same difference. You know, it's sort of yeah. guesswork mm. in a in a in a, mm. in a in a in a suit. I'm going to say. 15%. You're boring. <laughs> you I have no idea. I have no idea. So I, I would You're either be right me. or would I be wrong. And I don't yeah, like being wrong. I don't like first. being wrong. So, so you're just going to go with what I'm I just going to say what Alan said. And if Alan got it wrong, Alan said it first. And Alan's just a, he just got it wrong. I'm also an optimist, as you know. That's it, yeah. yeah. No, I think, I think it'll, it'll be very interesting to see where we are um, and, and where, it, where, it, where it pans out. I, it'll be... So, well, I Sorry think... 2022, We've covered gone. so much. The year done and dusted, or practically. 2023, so much to look forward to. I have to, to say thank you to our viewers for watching.
Hey, thank yeah, you viewers thank for watching. Thank you so much for watching us. And I said in the beginning, we're going to give you stats on particularly the YouTube channel. Yes. But I can tell you the growth has been phenomenal. Thank you very much. You'll see the numbers. You're welcome. He thinks it's because of me. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> so there we go. Um, Done. Let's carry on. And to 2023, just as hard as we had 2022. Just watch out for Do a more lot cars. more Do than more cars. you had now. We will be. I Do more cars. It. Love it. From Will, I'm Al. See you next year. Cheers.